Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Baptiste. I create Notion templates that are useful to me and I share it with you all. In today's video, we are going to talk productivity and organization through this all-in-one Notion template, which I created, the Life Planner. Let's go. During this last month, intensively using Notion, I've noticed that most of the templates or second brain or whatever were often tasteless or even sometimes copy paste of others templates so I wanted to add my creativity, my ideas to this game and my vision of productivity and organization. I'm sure that most of you watching this video have thousands of things to think during your day and it can sometimes feel overwhelming or you can lose the thread in all things happening around you. So I wanted to take Notion to its roots and create a life planner that would be as simple as possible and that would take the core of Notion, with, which is to take some notes to know where you are and to write where you would like to go. So here we are on the Life Planner's homepage, gather all your life in one place. That's the aim of this productivity and organization system. You have different subfolders, subtemplates, from the project manager to some notes, to-do list, travel partner, finance, resources, etc. etc. We are going to review it in a minute, but before this. Let's scroll a bit down and reach the Your Day at Glance section where you can take some quick actions on your life, create some new habit day to check your habits and have your progress bar uh, on your habits today to add some new expenses to see your today's workout to manage or create uh, new projects or even check your today's note or your today's tax, uh, tasks. So right now, uh, let's review sub templates and let's start by the project manager, which is one of the best uh, templates in this life planner because it enables you to manage and track all your ongoing projects. So there is this new project button where you can create a new project um, you can simply drag it when it goes from the planning phase uh, to before it starts to the in progress phase or when it's done for every project you have um, a progress bar you have the starting date the end date uh, your priority uh, and you have a little message so on how many days uh, remaining uh, how many days you are delayed there is also a dashboard um, section with all your ongoing projects and a little counter on how many projects are finished how many ongoing projects are finished and how many tasks uh, are done so you can also add your tasks and link it to one of your ongoing projects so let's add a task new task and let's create uh, let's name our new project new project uh, youtube video so here we are we can also add uh, quickly something a little uh, shoot case um, from also from every page uh, project page you can see your tasks uh, that are linked to so let's link uh, this new task uh, to a project. So let's uh, start my business, new project YouTube video. So it's linked right now. I have to do it right now and I have uh, to record a video. So here we are. As you can see, if I scroll down, there will be my task uh, that is in the projects uh, section. So it's all perfect. You can quickly describe the task. Um, and from the project uh, page, you can go into uh, different tabs uh, and check your, uh, so your tasks. 
you can check your notes, you can link all your notes uh, to your projects or to your tasks, and you can also link resources. So it's super powerful to have a global uh, view of how your projects are doing. Um, so here there is uh, notes, everything. So it's really top. But right now, let's go back uh, to the Life Planner. Let's head into the Content Creator. Uh, so here, there are different section objectives where you can just write simply your objectives around content creation. You can uh, tick it, so reach 10K follower on Instagram. Uh, you can write your global content strategy here. Uh, for example, to focus on short um, length content, you can list it all here so you stay um, on track and aligned with all your content creation objectives. After there are uh, your tasks, so these tasks are linked uh, to the to do um to the list so it's all centralized between all um, templates in the life planner and same for example if you go to the content calendar life planner youtube video which is planned uh, to go out tomorrow here i wrote the whole script of my youtube video and i can assign it uh, some tasks so as you can see this right script for the life planner video is in the task tab. You can also put some notes and some resources. It's the same uh, powerful system as um, the project manager, as in the project manager. And you can, of course, uh, tick it, check it when your task is done. You can uh, have a view of your notes related to content creation and for each platform, you can set a priority uh, according to your uh, strategy. You can uh, enter your current follower number and your goal. So you will have your progress bar. It will really motivate you to do better uh, day after day. And you have your content strategy where you can precise your global uh, content strategy to uh, one specific um, platform so there is Instagram YouTube and you can add it by yourself um, along the way so right now we've seen the project manager the content creator there is uh, the brain dump the brain dump I use it really to dump all my thoughts that I had during my day every time on my phone when I think about something I will just write it quickly here to afterwards uh, put it uh, on a nice way on my note uh, template so add a new note uh, to this thoughts thoughts and you can have also some uh, some templates so you can create a new note you can create a new learning note, a daily journal note. So the note I've, I've just created is more a daily journal note. You have project notes and those notes have some categories. So if it's labeled as content creation, it will appear in the content creator uh, template. You can also display the status of your note. It will be displayed as draft, um, by default but you can put it in project and you have your board view where you have uh, all the different sections uh, of your notes and you can put your notes in the archives when you don't need it uh, anymore so you just have to check it and here we go it goes straight uh, to the archives so same it's the same system and it's super powerful after there is the to-do list. So in this template, uh, in this template, it gathers all your tasks that you have in all your different uh, templates. Uh, so for example, uh, call mom, go to the gym, there are your tasks to come. So after uh, today, you have your today's task that you 
uh, this vision actually you have it also on uh, the your dad glance section um, and for all tasks also they are labeled uh, they have this uh, little field label so it can either be a task on content creation on your chores on your travel so if it's on your travel it will it will appear on the travel planner leisure sport etc etc and I like to build uh, my templates like this every time I put a database where there can be some tasks, um, some calendar, anything. And at the right, I like to put uh, a small dashboard with uh, some interesting statistics about how uh, I've been doing today, what's my progress for today's task, what. Uh, where I am on this week's task, it's really great to monitor um, your productivity uh, and to get at it um, the best way possible. After there is the focus zone, uh, I will go uh, quick on this one. It's just uh, it's just uh, this, so you can start um, you can start the time and here. It will create a bubble around you to focus on your objectives and to not think about some extra things about taking your phone or anything. So it's super great for entrepreneurs, for students, for anyone that struggles uh, to focus. And after those 25 minutes, you have five minute break. Uh, so it's super great. So you can go straight to your student planner or you can go back to the homepage there is also the gym companion. If you want to have some information on the gym companion, I've done a video about it. Uh, so in my YouTube channel, don't forget uh, to have a look. Um, it's a super great template to manage your workouts, to build your splits, to do everything around the gym and to progress uh, weeks after weeks. Um, there is also the habit tracker uh, there is your street counter, uh, how many days in a row you've done uh, all your tasks and what's the longest, uh, what's the longest uh, streak you've done. So it's, uh, I got inspired by Duolingo uh, for this and it motivates uh, me. Um, there is also a ranking system. Uh, here I have a notion basic plan, but there is a chart to see and to visualize your performances. And there is a table with those same performances. You can see the, your global performances and you can see the breakdown month by month, how you have been doing, what are your performances and how you are sticking to your habits. So this is super powerful for productivity and to create some new positive habits there is also the breakdown on weekdays. You can see, I will uncheck, uh, for example, stretching here, and uh, it will display your statistics day by day. And with this, you can identify, you can say, okay, uh, on Tuesdays, I'm really bad at doing uh, my 10K steps, and you can improve uh, thanks um, to all those um, data. So the habit tracker, it's uh, one of my favorites. After there are your goals, of course, you can uh, write your goals month by month. I like to do it year by year. So goals in 2025, there is a list of all my personal goals. There is every time a progress bar, a dashboard on the right. Uh, so it helps to stay focused on the long term. Uh, after there is the travel partner, um, maybe I will do a video on this one. It personally helps me to plan uh, my trip to Japan. You can um, organize your whole trip literally with this template. Uh, day by day, uh, you can put addresses, times, you can put status, if it's booked, if it's not booked. Uh, you can really stay on track uh, with your trip. Uh, you can display your bookings, your transportations. You can have also your packing list uh, to be sure that you didn't forget anything in your bag. 
uh, or your to-do list before leaving. So it's super great uh, for people uh, that organize some big trips or that are really stressed before a trip because it's a lot of information. So here it helps uh, for, um, for trips. After there is another big one template, which is the finance template. It helps you to monitor all your accounts to set some savings objectives. Same, there are some progress bar. You can have your total wealth, uh, your income this month, how much you spend this month to see if you are over budget or no. Um, so you can, you can add some new expenses every time, add a description, a date, an amount. Um, link it to one of your accounts and put it to a category and what is great is that on each category you can set your monthly budget you can see your last expense and you see uh, your progress like how much you spend according to uh, to your budget so it's super great uh, for this and there is also your incomes and all the transfers you've made and uh, the account, the amount of on all the accounts actualize uh, automatically. So it's really great for people that struggle uh, to track their finance or that are uh, never on track um, with it. After there is the resource uh, template, it's the same as Nuts, but for resources, you can add a lot of things put URL or files or media, um, display the type, add a quick description and link it to category, uh, not category. I will surely make a video on how to save some web page quickly, straight to Notion in uh, one click. But here it is, you can create new resources and you can see from any of the templates in the Live Planner, um, your resources that are linked uh, to to the tweets. And after, let's head into the last sub-template, which is the student planner. So there is the quick access for the focus zone. Uh, but the student planner uh, is also great for organization and to write down all your tasks, all you need to do, your assignments, there is uh, for each of your field, uh, you can enter your teacher, the location, the grade uh, you need to pass, the weight and your current grade. Um, given this, uh, it will display your current GPA uh, and the progress bar to see where you are um, toward your goal. Uh, so it's great, you can enter some information about you, Gomu Gomu Uni, uh, the GPA you're targeting and the maximum grade. Uh, that is available in your scholar system and same uh, for each field you will have um, the possibility to load um, to set up your assignments your exam in order to stay on track you can also add your timetable there is everything you need for students to stay um, to stay on track and reach your goals so here it is um, we had a quick look at all the possibilities uh, this life planner offers for you so i hope you enjoyed this video about the life planner your all-in-one productivity and organization system if you want to support me let us thumb up and subscribe to my youtube channel a big thanks to all the people that are already currently using the life planner it's available on my website uh, in the description. Thank you. Bye.